In this video, we're going to use the Jackboard Basics user LEDs to send an SOS message in Morse code. To achieve this, we're going to use daisy chains, delays, and the pulse command. This is the sixth video in a set of 10 for people beginning their journey with the Jackboard Basic. For a full list of videos in this series, search the TMT code shown in the middle of the screen at jb.works. For this video, you're going to need the Jackboard Basic, a USB-C cable, a PC or a Chromebook, and either the Google Chrome web, web browser or the Microsoft Edge web browser. Morse code is named after Samuel Morse, and that was because in around 1837, he helped to develop an early forerunner to the modern international Morse code. And to give you an idea of how important Morse code is, the last commercial Morse code message was only sent in 1999, so it's been in use for a very, very long time. The Cunard liner RMS Slovenia, which was wrecked on the 10th of June 1909, was the earliest reported ship to have transmitted the SOS distress call. SOS literally stands for Save Our Souls. So the first thing we need to do is learn what Morse code actually is. In Morse code, you send it either via radio using tones or via a light source using the length of the light pulse. So in Morse code, a dot is a single short tone and a dash is a tone that's twice as long as a dot. So this is an example of what Morse code sounds like. As you can hear from the tone, the dots are shorter than the dashes. So in Morse code, you use tones to send letters, which are then used to make messages. So for example, if I wanted to send the letter A, I would send a dot followed by a dash. And likewise, if I wanted to send the letter S, I would send three dots. So by having various combinations of dots and dashes, and then letters, you can make words and send messages. So in this activity, we want to be able to send the message SOS or Save Our Souls using Morse code, specifically by turning the user LEDs on and off. So first of all, to send SOS, we need to send the letter S, O and S, which means we need to send three dots, three dashes and then three more dots. To achieve this, to be able to send SOS and Morse code using a user LED, we need basically to be able to send short pulses of light for the dots, send long pulses of light for the dashes, and then send them in the correct order with the correct delays in between. So what we'll do is we'll use these three commands. We use the pulse command to turn the user LED on and off for given lengths of time. We we'll use the delay command to control the gaps between the pulses. And finally, we'll use daisy chains to link all these commands together. So next, let's go to the command line on the dashboard by clicking on the CMD tab on the left, and we'll make this work. So we're at the command line. Let's just run the high command to see that everything's gonna be all right. Yep, everything's working. So basically, we wanna have three dots, three dashes, and three dots again. So let's start off with the dots and we'll make them half a second wide or 500 milliseconds wide. So I'm gonna go pulse L1 500. And that will give us, if I run it, yeah, just pulses on for half a second. Then we want a delay of another half second in between the next dot. So for the next dot, will be five, uh, 500 milliseconds after the first one. And then let's put in another delay and then another pulse. So this should give us our three dots. One, two, three. Okay, brilliant, so we've got three dots. Now what we can do is we'll put another delay in here and we'll be a bit lazy. So instead of writing it all out again, I'm just gonna copy our dots, paste them in. Oh, okay. So, we've actually exceeded, already we've exceeded the maximum command length, which is a bit of a bother. 
So what can we do if I get rid of the delay? We should have six dots. Okay, so we've got six dots. We need to turn these guys into dashes. So let's make them, just because we're really close to the end, I'm going to make them 900 milliseconds long instead of 1,000. Ah, so sorry, that one is, still needs to be 500. But that can be 900. And this one will be 900. So let's run this. Three dots, and then three dashes. So because we, as you can see down here, we've only got three more characters left. So what we're going to do is this is going to be the first half of our command. So this gives us our three dots and our three dashes. So the last part of the command is just going to be, again, we want to have pulse. Our one, we want dots again. So we're going to go 500, then we're going to go delay 100, then we're going to go pulse. L1 500, then we're going to go delay 500, and then our last dot. So let's try that. So one, two, three. So to send the Morse code, we're actually going to use two lots of commands. So the first one sends the first three dots and the dash, and then while that's going, and now I'm sending the three dots. So that, let's do it again. So this is the first part. And then I'm just getting the second part ready to go. And now we send the dots. So that's how we can send Morse code, SOS, with the user LED on the command line. But because the command line is only 120 characters wide, we've had to break it into two commands. So the first one sends the three dots like this, and then it sends the three dashes. And then our second command, which we run straight after the last dash, sends the last three dots. And that's how you send Morse code in the command line. So to summarize, we wanted to send SOS and Morse code by flashing use LED number one. But when we did it, we actually ran out of room on the command line because the command line, as we heard in the earlier video, can only take 120 characters. So instead of using one command, we use two. So first of all, the message is made up of three dots, so three short pulses, and three dashes, which are twice the length of a dot and then three more dots. So in our final command, the first command that we ran is this one, and that gives us our first dot here. That gives us a delay, then the second dot, another delay, and then the third dot, and then another delay, and then these are the ones for the dashes. And we made the length of the dashes 900 milliseconds instead of 1,000 because that gave us more room, and so we didn't go over the limit on the command line. So that's the first dash, that's the second dash, and then this is the third dash. And then the second command we ran was this one, which is basically identical to the first one. And all we did there was just add another three dots. So what this illustrates is that while the command line is really good, you are limited in what you can do by the length of the commands that you can enter. So yes, we've sent SOS, save our souls, in Morse code using the Jackboard Basic. In the next video, we're going to use the pulse command to send an SOS Morse code message using the user LEDs. To get to the next video quickly, simply visit jb.works and search the TMT code shown on the screen. For more information, visit jb.works.